Matt has a surprise segment for me, and uh, we're about to just jump right into it. Yeah, so I have not actually watched this segment on it, but I have heard of this story, and it is an important story, uh, and it's kind of along themes that Tim Pool likes to discuss, so uh, let's just uh, listen to it. Uh, this is, I believe, Inside Edition. Um, was this where Bill O'Reilly came out of, or maybe he was a different one? But anyway, here we go. Now, take a look at this photo from a campaign video. The man is running for Congress in Virginia, and it sure looks like he's posing with his wife and three daughters. The issue, he isn't married and doesn't have children. <laughs> as Allison Hall reports, his opponent says he deliberately staged a fake family. Oh, no. A bachelor running for Congress is taking heat today for posing with what some are calling a fake family. That's not his oh. wife and three oh, daughters. Oh, no. Hey, folks, Derek Anderson here. GOP Come candidate on, Derek Anderson. Anderson from Virginia lives alone with his dog. Oh, this oh. campaign video also includes footage of him seated at the head of the table with the family. Very manly. That's not his. <laughs> if you want to run for Congress, your spouse and your children are typically part of the package. But what if you but? don't have either? If you're a Virginia Republican, Make a what if you don't have Derek either? Anderson, wow. Or you borrow them from a friend. It's also the butt of jokes on late night TV. This feels like he got an Instagram story and posted, hey, shooting a thing tomorrow, trying to look normal. Anyone have a wife slash kids I can borrow? Today, I spoke to Anderson, a former Green Beret. Were you trying to make it look like these people were your family? No, absolutely not. These, these, oh, are, no! from, these are people from the district. Just people. I think people will Just people be you're sitting at your kitchen table with. Was the husband. What? Funny, uh, was I'm probably just working people. because he needs to make a living. For the record, Anderson's engaged to this woman. Hey, wow. I also spoke to his opponent, Eugene Vinman, a retired army colonel who's married with two kids. Knowing that my opponent does not have a family, a family. I thought it was really weird um, to pose with yeah, a family. I've got a family. real family. Eugene, do you think he did this on purpose to make it look like he had this family? Oh, there's no doubt. <laughs> yeah. No. He wasn't just posing with a random group of people as if they were his constituents. That would be a really weird way to pose for pose with your constituents or actors meant to look like your constituents. Also around your kitchen table in some way. Oh, wow, this guy just invites anybody into his home. Except don't... the husband. He cannot come over. Right. I like to have dinner with single moms. <laughs> I know. And and their children. It just show, He's so family-oriented. I might get my friend out of the shop, please, just for no reason. I don't know why we're not having him involved. Just me with these this woman and these kids who is not my fiance now i have a question about when this fiance came onto the scene because the tim scott this is a very much <laughs> this is a playbook that we've seen quite a few times with the republicans um they love a good i wonder if like tim scott he met this wonderful blonde lady at bible study yeah, bible study it's just amazing that uh, the Inside Edition reporter asks him where the husband was, and he gets like annoyed and indignant. He's like, he's probably working. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he has to make a living. God damn it! <laughs> it was just a scheduling. It would have been a normal, a totally normal picture of me with a man and his family. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that, that that normal picture you put in all your campaigns. I I when it started, I really thought it was going to be AI, but it's somehow worse than that. It's somehow worse. Like if it was an AI photo with a face family for an ad i would have found it less funny than the fact that he hired a whole family his buddy's family hey can we just like play pretend for a little bit <laughs> that i have a family and that i ascribe to these extremely rigid ideals that the republican party tries to impose on the rest of us and then just like the the democrat coming in being like i've actually got a family <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm not sure about my opponent who needs to hire people to pretend to love him, but I got a wife. Here, let dude. me stand in front of this new development of homes with this. <laughs> right. Oh, just beautiful. Uh, I love the I love the guy. Yeah, put that over. I just want to take one more look at the Yeah, I, I love the the trying to pass this off like you weren't <laughs> trying to present this as if this is your family. Like that is so funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I just thought they were nice people. Yeah, what, what, this is just me in the community. What's right. The Duh. <laughs> Don't you, uh, have you ever heard of constituent services? Yeah, hello. Ramona Frankenstein, okay, wrap it up for today. There's no way that a fake family is going to be topped. You actually could take the rest of the week off. This is too effing funny. Vox Populi, no childless cat men for office. Get on it. 
That's the thing. I like. We always knew that that was going to be a tough thing from the square because half of their assets in the media, like Tim Pool, like they have to be like, well, I have a spare room. Right. <laughs> and for a family. Apparently, I'm dating. <laughs> But that's that's what it what's just incredible about it is like they have no qualms about talking about how the left is unhappy and in, uninterested in the in, in familial life and they're destroying our culture. But they're all just the biggest hypocrites on the planet. I mean, some of those guys are they're, they're the most anti-gay people are secretly having sex with men or, yep. you know, the Matt Schlapp effect or the Tim Scott situation where he gets a fiance very conveniently when he's running for now? president. They must. They're in the honeymoon phase. We know. I mean, God, those who protest that much really do have uh, the most to hide. So. Uh, Colleen from Connecticut. Oh, wow. I figured that his best friend would have been the camera person or in the room, not at work. That would have been a smarter explanation. <laughs> that would have been, yeah. I mean, it's still... <laughs> Retaliatory Strike uh, says 2024 childless cat ladies versus familyness, familyless men. I mean, it is interesting. Like, they... Uh, this this gender gap is huge, um, huge gender gap for Trump and Harris, which I thought would close, but it seems to be just stratifying <laughs> and um, huge difference in between with the uh, Times Siena poll, uh, educated or college educated white voters are now. Let's see. I have this written down here. Um, Trump is plus 30 with white non-college grads. Harris is plus 23 with white college grads. Plus 39 with non-white college grads. And plus 31 with non-white college grads. But Trump is winning white non-college grads by 30 points. And that was not as stratified. In, if, my, if I were to remember correctly, I know at least with white men, Biden was doing better. Um... With white men, Biden was on, only lost by two points. Harris is now down by 11 points. Um, oh, I, I'm sorry, not white men, male voters. I apologize. So I can't discern that more, um, discern, discern that fully. But that's why the Trump campaign is just like turbocharging their efforts to just appeal to men. And then you have Harris going on call her daddy, right? This is the, the fault lines right now of this race. Um... The Amazing Grando, new segment name, Matt's Mystery Media. <laughs> Vigil and Video. Still workshopping this. I like Matt's Mystery Media. Because it sounds like mystery meat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.